Okay, today we're going to see how to configure auto mouse clicker to open up chests on blue stacks for Game of War. You see here I have 15, 10, 25, and well, sometimes you have thousands of chests and you just don't have time to open thousands of chests by. And so I've got this app called auto mouse clicker and what it is you go in here you open it up and there's a few things you need to do to begin first the very first thing you want to do is go to file I'm sorry view and settings Okay, now, you have abort script execution and pause and resume script execution. I set those as control X, and the way you do that is simply by pushing the keyboard combination on the button. Put the key, see, when you have none right there, you can set that for anything you want. You can set it to be H if you like, and when you push the H on the keyboard, it automatically does that. And then you just click assign. But I have mine set for... Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I started my auto mouse clicker program because that is what I have set for it. Alright, but now I got it for control X to abort script execution and control Z to stop and resume. Pause and resume. Um you take that, save it and close it. Go over here, you're gonna open new script and you get this screen right here what you do is you just click right here on the screen and it helps to drop it down and make your windows screens fit each other so that you can see both of them side by side here but you walk right over here to this here and you just click randomly on the page and you can click add new and it brings up this here another way you can do that is just to double click right there and it only works if you're already in it obviously but anyways <clears throat> you see these numbers right here you see as I move the cursor around those numbers change also okay here you have X and Y coordinates. Those are these right here, your X and Y coordinates. That's your mouse location on the screen. The first thing you want to do is go right here to mouse click to automate. It's a drop down box. You want to do a left click with every mouse click that you do. <clears throat> Leave all of this stuff here as default. This default here will be a thousand. I want you to change it to minimum delay 100, maximum delay 200. And you look right over here. And as you move your mouse to this location, you set it right there. You look here, and it says 1296337. So you go right here, and you type in 1296. Hit your tab button, and 396. I believe that's what it was, wasn't it? Twelve ninety one three thirty six. That'll be better. Okay. Once you've got that, your left click mouse set, your coordinates set, your minimum maximum delay. Repeat this mouse click one time. This is a box that you can put some words in. You can put open chest one. And we're going to push OK. And we now have populated in our field here the XY coordinates, left mouse click, 100 millisecond delay, open chest one. Repeat one time. Click on the line right up underneath that. Hit add new. 
and we're going to repeat the process by moving right over here selecting where our mouse is looking at the chords 1291 462 and we're going to enter that right here one two nine one hit the tab button four six two minimum maximum delay set at 100 and 200 I'm just going to put chest 2. Okay. Repeat this mouse click one time. Now, what happens here, you know as well as I do, when you open a chest, you get this pop up use all if you're VIP 12 or use if you're not and when you get that you get this pop up here well that right there is going to be your next chord that X so go back over here click there add new get your chords for that location 13, 16, 2, 16. Come over here and put your chords in. And we're going to call this one clear. Okay. We now have an auto mouse clicker file set up with three different coordinates. Okay. Um, there are problems you can run into. I'm not going to get into all that. But basically what those become are when sometimes it'll jump over here. If you have it configured to do other things. I'm going to keep this simple for you though. So, anyways, we've got this done. You're going to go, let's drag this up a little bit so we can see it better. Now that we have our mouse clicker file created, you want to take repeat count and make that a zero for infinite. Now, if you did not previously go to view or edit, I'm sorry view and settings and set your pause resume and abort script what's going to happen when you start this is it's just going to keep going and going and going it's going to take control of your mouse and you're not going to be able to do anything unless you hard shut down your computer so i advise you to set your pause re resume and your abort script hotkeys put this repeat count zero for infinite and click save we're going to name this one sample.mcs just for instructional purposes now we'll hide this to the system tray and now I've got this file with all my mouse clicker files in it I'm just going to click this one right here two times and get it started. And that's what you get. Now, due to the fact that you won't have the use all or use there, that third click is going to go up there and X that out. But for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to reconfigure this real quick and show you how this really works. Okay, I went and I added another step real quick. Um, we've got use and we've got clear here now. It's a four step process. So again, I'm going to start this. It's going to show you how this is going to operate right here. Okay, and I'm just going to use my little hot key and show you how it actually works. I'm going to hit control Z. Turn the light down so you can see. I'm going to hit control Z. Mm -hmm. That was Hunter's shooting, sweetheart. 
I'm going to go ahead and X this out, actually. Let's do this right here. Let's get it started. And this is what we'll have here. There you go. That's how you open up them chests, man.